chose. I ain't gonna say y'all just watching, but I'm just saying a person who voted for him um, to represent y'all, there's a real problem. I'm seriously thinking about moving to Canada. I ain't even lying to you. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I couldn't even work today. My nerves are so bad. Check in, check in, check in, y'all. Check in, check in. Listen, welcome to the Know Your Worth TV. Uh, where we talk about narcissism. We talk about real life situations that are happening. Um, if you are new here, welcome. This is your new home. I appreciate you for clicking on the link. Um, double click the no notification bell. Um, where it says all, so you can make sure you receive all the notifications as I send out good content. And um, to my day ones, I appreciate you, I love you, and I, I want everybody to win. So as you all seen the title, I want to slide into this video real quick because I ain't going to lie, y'all, I'm going to be real transparent with y'all today. My energy is way off, right? <clears throat> and I have a right to, just like everybody else have a right to. Um... Like I said, we're talking about narcissism and one of the biggest narcissists that I've seen in real time just got reelected for president. A convicted felon, impeached, one that has no filter, no guardrails. Like, <laughs> listen, I'm gonna let y'all listen to this video that plies just sent out and it was so needed at plies i appreciate you i needed that i ain't gonna i ain't gonna lie to y'all i couldn't even work today my nerves are so bad but he was right on time and he was right um america is not the same america in which i grew up in um it's sad to say but there is no character there is no integrity and if, if, if this is the person that y'all, I ain't gonna say y'all just watching, but I'm just saying a person who voted for him um, to represent y'all, there's a real problem. I'm seriously thinking about moving to Canada. I ain't even lying to so, you. I'm gonna let y'all take a look at this video and I want y'all to tell me what y'all. Yo, definitely want to jump on here real quick, man, and check on y'all and make sure that y'all was good. Just make sure that y'all was okay. Don't know if y'all can even see my arms, but. If I could hug each and every one of y'all who needed a hug right now, man, and just let you put your head on my shoulder and just get off what you want to get off, God knows I would. I was just thinking to myself, man, I wish I had something big enough that I could invite whoever wanted to come just to sit around and do nothing and just check on each other and make sure that each other was good and everybody was holding up. Okay. Um, I don't ever watch the election night. I always catch it the following morning. Well, at least I did the last election in this one. Um, so I'm pretty much getting the information that a lot of y'all probably had last night, probably a little over an hour ago. And just we kind of processing a little bit of the information to me. And definitely want to jump on here and let y'all know just because the person that you felt should have won didn't make it across the finish line. Don't for a second allow yourself to question your beliefs and what it is that you stand for. Because just because some results didn't go how you foreseen them to go, it doesn't mean that you wrong about anything. All elections mean or anytime somebody voting on something is that this group of people, the majority, wanted to try this over here more so than they want to try this over here for whatever their reason is. One thing this election did teach me is something that he knew. It's something that I didn't know. That character no longer matters. That all the dark and divisiveness and all the things he said, he knew people wanted that. I just didn't think that they did. So this whole notion of America, this is not who we are. No, this is exactly <laughs> who we are. And again, I'm a firm believer that God don't make mistakes. And I know at some point in time, he will reveal why this went the way that it did to the end man i just want to continue to tell y'all to still stand tell me what y'all thoughts what are y'all thoughts click in the link below and let me know what your thoughts are like i said i'm very distraught you know um because there's a lot at stake i can see if if it was four years ago or um if it was not even four years ago because we was in a pandemic then which by the way he had a lot to do with that um but if it was before the time or when the time that he was president. Just leave it there. You was a president then. Leave it there. You had your time. You did what you needed to do or whatever. 
But my thing is, there's so much that, more that's at stake at this point. And all of that hard work seems like it's going to be unraveled. First and foremost, for every woman that voted for him, up, I'm not saying your name on my channel, up, it's ridiculous. Because if you think about the woman's reproductive situation, like our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, the legacy that we leave behind, the bloodline that we leave behind will be affected. There's already been young ladies that have died because they couldn't get health care. And the fact that even our grandmothers had more say-so then than we do now in this 2024, that is that is something to really think about. Um, and for the life of me, I cannot understand why women voted for him knowing that this was something that he put in place. Um, it's sad. It's sad. And um, I, I, I hate to say this, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, a lot of people are just uneducated, uneducated to the point where you didn't do your research. You know, once again, I don't care if the Democrat was black, white, green, yellow, purple, or if it was a Republican. Anybody that's going against something that's not going to be beneficial for me and my bloodline, I got to cut it off. No. So I just feel some type of way about it. Um, I feel like it was some cheating with it. I ain't going to lie. Um, not only that, um, I just feel like a lot of people didn't do their research. And a lot of people was not ready for a woman to be president. Not only that, a black woman at that. So um, racism still exists. I hate that it does, you know, because you put could potentially be missing out on your blessing because you're looking at a, a person's skin color, which is very sad. So um, like I said, y'all, I feel some type of ways the day after. You know, um, I don't want to hear his speech. I don't want to hear his name. You know, I think what did it for me, you know, when you, you sit there and tell me to drink some bleach, you know, on top of that, nothing that comes out of your mouth makes sense to me. Nothing that comes out of your mouth, nothing that comes out of your mouth makes sense to me. So, um, I just feel some type of way today, y'all. I, I know tomorrow will be a better day, but y'all pray for me. I'm going to pray for y'all. You know, for the ones who voted for him, if you're watching this this video, you know, more power to you. Don't get mad at me because I feel the way I feel. And you feel the way you feel. You had the right to feel that way, you know. And if you feel that bad, if you got to, you know, go against the grain, don't put nothing crazy on this, on this comment thing, on this YouTube thing, because you will be blocked. You will be blocked. I don't play them type of games. So um, I'm praying for our country because we're going to need it. Um... When you got generals saying that he's not fit to be, yeah, it's real. It's real. The fact that he is closest as he is with Putin, and knowing what Putin has done to Ukraine, it's serious. Um, the fact that they're about to cut a lot of jobs, uh, a lot of financial aid for people who are going to get their education, um, assistance, you know, social security for our, our no matter what color you are. No matter what nationality you are, um, the fact that he's about to cut all of that, and you have worked your entire life to do that, you know, for the people who voted for him, I hope you know what that means. That that's gonna that's gonna uh, you know affect your family too. So um, the character was on the line, integrity, and it like like Ply said, they don't have it, and it's sad, and it's sad that. I just feel like this is the beginning of the end. I feel like we are at the end of the world. And I feel like it, it, it's time to get, get yourself together, get your stuff together, because we're on our way out of here. That's just the way I feel. So until um, we talk again, what I feel on up being reelected uh, president, um, I don't, I, it, you know, he shouldn't be in office. If, I, if I'm a convicted felon, if I don't have the right to vote, why do you have the right to run for president and then win? Um, that's what I can't understand. Somebody please comment below and let me know why 
I know why it's racism, for one, because if they would have been black, they wouldn't have been able to get that far. So that's near here or there. So, you know, to the next time we talk, y'all, um, I know this probably rough for little feathers. I'm sorry if it did. I have a right to my opinion. You have a right to your opinion. You know, um, my whole thing was just, you know, not stripping away what we have worked so hard to build. That was my thing. So until the next time, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later.